So we all know that the classic design for the Neuralizer has been updated for the new film Men in Black 3. Well, I'm going to show you how to make your own Men in Black 3 style Neuralizer for about $8. To start, you're going to need a toy of the new Neuralizer, which, to be honest, kind of sucks. In fact, I got mine at Target on clearance for about $3. And we're going to upgrade this with some metallic tape that I got at an auto parts store for $5. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the toy Neuralizer. Once we have it open, we're going to locate the yellow wires that run to the speaker, and we're going to disconnect those. The sounds kind of suck, and they're going to be even worse once we cover up the speaker holes, so we might as well just disconnect them. Make sure the lights still work before you put it back together, because you won't be able to open it up again after this. Reassemble your Neuralizer, and once again, make sure that the lights are still working. You're going to cover it in masking tape and trace around the silver areas with a pen. Then you're going to take your masking tape template, and you're going to lay it on a piece of paper. Any scratch paper will do. Then you're going to cut it out and fine-tune it until it matches all the silver areas of your Neuralizer. The beauty of this is if you cut too much, you can always add more tape. Then you're going to take your metallic tape and you're going to unroll just enough to cover the Neuralizer. Now this tape has a backing on it and that's what we're going to be tracing our template onto. Before you cut out your template, make sure you cut a small strip for the bottom of the Neuralizer. You can add black electrical tape at this point if you want to be a little closer to the movie, but since I'm not going for screen accuracy, I wanted mine to be chrome all the way around. Now when you trace your template, make sure you trace it backwards so that that way when you flip it over, it'll match up with your Neuralizer. As you cut out your template, stop at every step and make sure it's still matching up with your Neuralizer. You might want to leave yourself a little extra room so you can fine tune it with a razor blade after we're done. Once you have your Neuralizer cut out, crease the edges and make sure one last time that it fits exactly the way you want it, covering all the gray areas. Then. You're going to carefully apply the middle section here and then fold down the sides and smooth out the edges. Now it takes about 24 hours for the adhesive to fully set, so make sure you keep that in mind. So now keep in mind, you're not going to be able to get to the screw holes or the battery compartment after this. So disconnecting that speaker is also going to help extend your battery life. I'd also recommend putting fresh batteries in there before you put this tape on. And just like that, we have a Men in Black 3 Neuralizer complete with lights. Now, the top part won't pop up like it did in the movie, but even then in the movie it only popped up about an inch and was barely noticeable. And with that, we're pretty much done. You can still see some of the lettering and garbage poking through underneath the metallic tape. Um, you could always sand that down beforehand if that's going to be an issue for you. I decided to replace the image of Boris the Animal. It's one by one, you can throw whatever you want on there. This step is entirely optional. And there we have it, a Men in Black 3 Neuralizer.